Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys my Amazonus Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for September 2018. For those of you that play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links, this card is a pretty big uh, problem and uh, just an overall uh, big part of the meta with um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links. And just playing it online, you know, playing against it, playing it myself, it made me want to go back and just you know remake the deck itself uh, for actual uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and just see what the deck can do. Especially when you learn all the different plays that is capable uh, with this deck. It makes for a lot of fun and all the other uh, support we have for the actual card game uh, with the fusion monsters that we received in the uh, recent Arc V booster packs as well as all the reprints that were available to us now through uh, OTS to just make the deck a lot more easier to build. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off, I run three Amazonist Princess uh, with this card. Uh, its name becomes Amazonist Queen while it is on the field or in the graveyard. And if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Amazonist Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Amazonist Princess once per turn. And when this card declares an attack, you can send one other card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon one Amazonist Monster from your deck in defense, except for Amazonist Princess. So the fact that this card can, one, search out any Amazonist Spell or Trap sets up what the play you need at that moment moment if you really need to get um you know onslaught into your hand for its banish capabilities uh, that's a big part of the play is for sure you can search that out very easily with this card or you can either you know search out any of the spell cards for amazonas that you run as well you have all those options available to you with princess and the fact that when she attacks you can also uh, send another card to get just more special summons out in the field is a very you know capable and handy effect of hers for sure and I also run three Amazonas Baby Tiger with uh, Baby Tiger. It's just a very easy special summon to get out on the field. And its name becomes Amazonas Tiger while on the field or in the graveyard. And if an Amazonas monster is normal or special summon to your field while this card is in your uh, hand or graveyard, you can special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Amazonas Baby Tiger once per turn. And it gains 100 attack for each Amazonas uh, card in your graveyard. So it's got a power boost effect, but the easy special summon definitely does come in handy with uh, Link Summon being a thing now in the game just meaning you can easily summon out to the field whenever you you know summon out an Amazonas monster the boost effect just you know is an added bonus and the fact that Amazonas princess and Amazonas baby tiger both share the names of queen and uh, tiger means that it helps with your fusion summons that you uh, do in the deck as well and I also run three Amazon Swordwoman. Now, what made me from the last deck profile bump this up to three is just the fact that uh, the fact that your opponent takes any battle damage from battles involving this card means that if they make a big card, let's say like uh, Boral, uh, load or anything like that and you swing into it and you have let's say Amazonas uh, heirloom or queen on the field to protect them from being destroyed by battle They're gonna be taking a lot of damage and they'll have to think of other methods just to get rid of this card on the field uh, Otherwise, you know, you'll drain them down especially if you get multiple swordswomen on the field Which is very easy to do with uh, cards like Amazonas uh, Princess in your deck uh, they're switch they're summoned in defense obviously But next turn if they're still on the field or if you have like I said queen to protect them it definitely does help and I also run three Amazonist Spy. Uh, with Spy, it just helps, once again, for the uh, Link format, just getting easy monsters on the field. You can reveal one other Amazonist monster in your hand to special summon this card from your hand. You can only use the effect of Spy once per turn. And when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can target one Amazonist monster in your graveyard, accept Spy, return to the hand, or shuffle it into the deck. So the recycle power as well. Um, a lot of times with, like, Princess, I'll send Amazonists from my hand to the graveyard to get off her special summon. So just having those targets in the graveyard for spy for sure definitely does help um just makes you want to you know keep her on the field sometimes just to hope to get that destruction effect off but most of the time i use her for uh fodder for the different uh, types of summons i can use uh, with her and I also run two Amazonas Queen. Now Queen is very easy to special summon out just with uh, Princess, so you don't really have to take up your Tribute Summon, or if you ever need to even do that with her. She should just be an easy special summon to the field, and the fact that you get her in defense, having 1800 defense isn't that big of a problem because her only effect is Amazonas monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle, meaning that Shu will protect all your cards in the field that are Amazonas from the battle, and like I said before, very important with cards like Swordswoman, where you know your opponent takes all the damage and and then you don't want it to be destroyed, obviously.
And I also run two Amazon as Paladin, just a level four, uh, pretty good attack uh, booster as well. With gains 100 attack for each Amazonist you control, so those numbers will stack up with just how many you can get out. So overall, good stats. And also, I run two Amazonist Scouts. Uh, this one's just another protect card. During either player's turn, you can tribute this card. If you do during this turn, face up Amazonist monsters you control cannot be targeted by effects of monsters and cannot be destroyed by the effects of spell traps or effect monsters. So combo together with Queen. It can make them almost pretty much indestructible. So I run two of these, just like I said, another special summon out to the field, and then you can just tribute this card. Let's say if you're going big with your princess attack or whatever other attack, you can use her effect to special this out in the field and then just tribute them so you can be a little more safe. And then lastly for um, the monsters, I run one Amazonist Sage and one Amazonist Tiger. I run Sage just for the pop spell and trap effects, um, just having her on the field. If you attack with her and you have Queen and she can't be destroyed by battle, she can ram into any monster. And as long as they don't have any other effects that counteract the um, you know, attacking uh, one, you can still have her on the field to resolve her pop effect and tiger is just another good special summon so it is basically made to protect your princess um if you summon it out then you know your opponent has to attack this and they can't attack any other face up amazonists except this one so it makes for a good shield as well just as a one of and that's basically it for the monsters we'll now move on to the spells i run three amazonist call it's a quick play spell card with uh the effect you take one amazonist card from your deck except amazonist call and either add it to to your hand or send it to the graveyard and during your main phase you can banish this card from your graveyard then target one amazonist monster you control this turn that monster can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each also other monsters you control cannot attack you can only activate this effect once per turn but um very helpful with the trap card effect of amazonist um uh, onslaught, which we'll get to in a bit, and also very, very uh, nicely done with Swordswoman being able to attack everything. And if you have a uh, queen on the field, making her unable to be destroyed by battle, your opponent's just going to take all that damage if they have big monsters on the field, and you just you know attack into each one uh, with uh, Swordswoman. It's a quick play spell. Sending them to the graveyard can also help just for um, some revival effects you run in the deck, but adding it to the hand, just another good searcher overall. So, a definite three of to go for. I also run one Amazonist Heirloom. I only run one Heirloom because most of the time you're gonna rely on Queen for her um, special summon, but also if you're going first and you summon Princess, you can search out this if you um, already have Onslaught in your hand, or you can you know, obviously get Call and then use that effect as well. It just helps to equip and then protect, and that destruction effect after the attack resolves does come in handy with some of your other ones if you're getting rid of pesky monsters that are you know, just building a wall on your opponent's side of the field. And moving on to the field spells, I actually have a very unique lineup that has been working for me for the field spells. I run one Fusion Recycling Plant, one Fusion Gate, and one Amazonist Village. Uh, these tied in with uh, terraforming. Being able to search for the field spell you want for that specific situation does help. You don't need multiple copies of Amazonist uh, Village in the deck. Its effect is all face-up Amazonist monsters on the field gain 200 attack. Um, and once per turn, when Amazonist monster is destroyed by battle or car effect and sent to the rear, Graveyard, you can special summon one Amazonist monster from your deck with a level less than uh, the destroyed monster. So, like I said, you don't need multiples of this, but I wanted to have easy ways to search it out. And running Fusion Gate and Fusion Recycling Plant just means that you have, you know, easy ways to get out your Fusion monsters. Fusion Gate does banish them, but you don't really, you know, neg too much from the benefits because there's other ways or, you know, other methods that your Amazonist monsters can go to the graveyard to reuse for those special summons. And then the Fusion Recycling Plant, you just run the one polymerization, but being able to search it out with this effect as well definitely does come in handy since you can search the polymerization from your deck or graveyard as well so just one of the three and like i said with terraform you can search for whatever you want you need for that specific situation and as I stated a second ago, one polymerization, it's searchable and multi binning multiples. Uh, the fusion is a very nice, you know, add on to the deck. But you still can have other plays if you don't end up going into them. So it's just kind of there, but searchable, like I said, with the amount of spells, uh, field spells we're running. Plus the three terraforming just to help with your search for what you need at that situation. You can go for the fusion gate, but then if you have another terraforming in your hand, you can then, you know, obviously search out village after you use it and then just have that to rely on when you get your big fusion monster out and I also run one reinforcements of the army all the Amazonist monsters I think except for obviously uh, 
Baby Tiger are warriors, so being able to search Princess out is your basic gameplay to go for. So definite staple in the deck, and also one soul charge. You don't really use life for too much in this deck, so being able to um, you know just revive a bunch of them after they've been uh, destroyed, whether by card effects or any other method, definitely also does help. And that's it for the uh, spells. We'll now move on to the traps. Uh, probably the best trap in the entire deck is Amazon is onslaught uh, with this one. Once per turn during the battle phase, you can special summon one Amazonist monster from your hand, and if you do, it gains 500 attack until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. And after damage calc, if your Amazonist monster battled an opponent's monster uh, while this card is already face up on your field, you, uh, you can banish that opponent's monster, and if this card in the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one Amazonist monster in your graveyard and special summon it. It has so many play capabilities in this deck, it's unreal. Being able to banish your opponent's monsters is a very, um, you know, uh, pesky thing for them to get around, for sure, since you're just banishing all their resources and they can't really work with anything in the graveyard. The special summon from your hand means that you can potentially, if you open up Queen, you don't want to tribute it, and, you know, obviously you have to special summon with Princess from the deck. You can special summon Queen to the field, it'll be 2,900 attack, and it can go out in attack mode and just be ready to swing at your opponent as well. And the special summon is great for the, you know, set if your opponent hits it um, you can just you know destroy it and then get a special summon off from the graveyard so overall it's a definite three of in the deck there's no real nag plus the fact that it's searchable is just that even greater and I also run one Amazonist Willpower. This is kind of like a Call of the Haunted for uh, Amazonist monsters. The reason I run this and not obviously Call of the Haunted uh, because this card is searchable uh, with uh, Princess. So you all, if you already have like Onslaught and all your other spell and trap set up, just another easy search target to go for with Princess. So you, you know, just have another revival option ahead of you. And I also run two Solemn Strikes and one Solemn Warning to finish off uh, the main deck. Just that extra uh, trap lineup definitely does help if there's any big monsters that obviously your um, you know, attack into effects can't work. This one just you know is there to protect you like all the Solemn cards usually do. And that is it for the main deck. We'll move on to the extra. I run two Amazonist uh, Empress. You need Amazonist Queen and, and one Amazonist Monster to make uh, this fusion. Other Amazonist cards you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If your Amazonist Monster attacks a defense monster, you inflict piercing damage to your opponent. And if this face-up fusion card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect while its owner uh, controls it, you can special summon one Amazonist Queen from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So being able to special summon Amazonist Queen again is the one reason I also run it at two, but having that option available to you for that power effect and just basically carrying all the effects and more of Queen is, makes for an awesome fusion summon and very easy to summon out in the deck for sure. Same goes for uh, Amazonist Pet Liger with the new Link format. Also, you just gotta, you know, really debate what you want to go into. But that doesn't mean you obviously can't use Empress or Pet Liger to go into each other, since they could be the requirements for the, you know, plus one other Amazonist monster, and then just have the other proper requirements as well. Uh, and once per battle, uh, if this card attacks during damage calc, you can make uh, this card gain 500 attack during the damage calc only. And if your Amazonist monster attacked an opponent's monster after damage calc, you could target one face up monster your opponent controls, loses 800 attack and monsters your opponent cannot attack unless uh, the monsters you control is this one. So it basically is the same thing like Amazon's Tiger, but just as added protection with better stats as well. Most of the time I do end up going into Empress because she just makes up some of your plays, but it's good to have Pet Liger just as that backup for sure. And I also run one Heroic Champion Excalibur. You run Warrior Monsters, so uh, very easy staple exceed to make. Same with Gaga Cowboy, uh, Baguska, and Abyss Dweller. If you want to take out the Cowboy and put in Tornado Dragon, you can do that as well. Um, for rank uh, threes, I run one Levier and one uh, Breaksword. Just options if you have multiple princesses on the field that you might need to go into. And uh, for the Link Monsters, one Underclock Taker, uh, one Nightmare uh, Cerberus, one Decode Talker, one Boral Guard, this could be Boral Load, I just have it in another deck at the moment that I am working on as well. And one Mrs. Radiant, since they are all uh, Earth Monsters also in the main deck that you can rely on and the extra. So very easy to recycle Mrs. Radiant as well. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I love making uh, these updated decks from old ones for sure. Working on a couple other ones uh, to bring to you guys. But until next time, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.